Dex. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I think I do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Harry. <laughs> I'm Richard. Well, hello there, fellas. <laughs> and welcome to Dead Dicks. <laughs> it's like a little old lady. <laughs> and I kind of feel like one right now. Yeah, well. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like a man, sometimes you feel like a little old lady. Mm -hmm. Depends busker. on what day it is. Yep. Drinking some more busker. I always forget to show the whiskey now. Nobody cares anymore. No, nah, fuck no. That's what I'm drinking. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. I think it's still Evan. The last of the Evan Williams. Yeah, I've been sipping on this motherfucker all day long. <laughs> I've got a little more of it, but Irish whiskey, you can drink a pretty fair amount of that. 88.6 proof. Yeah. Yeah. That's pussy numbers. Mm-hmm. Well, what, 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 what did we turn the camera on? Oh, for we're going to talk about how trying to build sets right now kind of sucks because it's either impossible to find fucking cards or it's too expensive, or both. Yeah. Um, sometimes, you know, I'm, I started building a Dark Age set, which got me thinking about this. I went, I, you know, I needed, at the time, 50 cards or something. I was like, well, I'll just see if I can't go out and buy a big chunk of these. So I went out on eBay, looked around, and there's nothing. Unless you want to buy boxes. Like, I don't want to buy boxes. I want to buy a big old lot. When I found one big old lot, 500 bucks for Three or four hundred guards, you know, I'm like, what? Get the fuck out of here. So I went and looked on Cat One Games, Category One Games, and I was able to buy, I think, ten cards I needed, but they were all commons, uncommons, and I busted another box and would have gotten all those anyway. So, like, it ended up being, I mean, they were cheap, so it didn't matter, but. I've done that before. It, you know, it, he didn't have anything on there either. I think I got one rare, maybe, out of everything I needed. Um, and. You know, other sets I'm building are kind of going the same way. You know, hockey, playoff hockey stuff I like. The gold cards, ones I need, never fucking see them. Uh, the expansion set, 96, 97, the orange border ones. Never see them. They're never out there. You can buy singles here and there, but it's a 130 card set, I think. Roundabout. Yeah, we'll give say or it's take. close enough. But, I mean, you never see bulk. It's all singles, and they're, you know, 3 to $6 a piece plus shipping in a lot of cases, so... Well, that's not worth it. Uh, yeah. And I was trying to... I've got a WCW Nitro base set, non-first edition, complete. It's done. That's the only thing... That's the only set I have complete right now. But I want a first edition set, too. I was like, well, I need three cards. Nothing fucking out there. <laughs> so, I just... You know, so everything... Every time I'm trying to build something, I either can't find the cards, or if I do, you got to buy boxes and crack them. Yeah, Category 1 certainly helps. I mean... Yeah. Because most people aren't going to bother doing what he's doing. Bless him no. that he has the patience. Yeah. Appreciate you, bud. You know he ain't getting rich, but he's he's providing a great service. Yeah. That's got to be a lot of problem. Is nobody's fucking with these old dead singles. Yeah. Because how many times are you going to sell them? I mean, other than somebody like you stumble along every right. year or two. Yeah, yeah, that's the biggest problem. The no supply, no demand. Yeah. Um, the, the supply's probably there somewhere for a lot of this stuff. I'm sure there's tons of it out there. But there's not enough demand to drop people to, yeah, get to the singles market or even put up bulk. Now, if you're playing around in the Star Wars, Star Trek, oh, you know, yeah, Harry different. Potters, I mean, that shit's everywhere. Now, that, yeah, that gets into maybe the expensive part of it. You know, it may be readily available, but a lot of it's going to be high because you got more, a lot more competition for a lot of that stuff, you know. So, especially if you get into that, the rarest stuff of all that, all those big properties. Yeah, I've got a lot of my stuff is on the cheaper side, but it's still like uh, Jindu. It's got uh, the expansion set. It's got those gold foil cards, so you get a couple of box. Uh, but they're really fucking hard to get. So nobody has singles of that anywhere. Yeah. Nobody's bothering Jindu. You can get a box for $20. Right. So why would they put singles up? But how many more boxes do I want to spend $100 chasing? I'm, mi I'm missing one fucking card of Jindu now. That's it? Yeah. I didn't know it was that. Yeah, I only have one gold card I'm missing from the expansion. So that leads me into the <clears throat> next solution. It's probably the and the best solution for what we're trying to do is Facebook groups. It's you know the deck uh, CCG Facebook group. It's probably the best bet to find a lot of this stuff now. It seems counterintuitive, but I guess in today's age it's not. You know, eBay's always been the go-to place to find weird, weird shit. But you know, you know, as a full-time eBay seller. I don't want to fuck with a bunch of singles for 
sell one a year, you know, kind no. of shit. So nobody else does either. But you got these guys in this, you know, this group that they're constantly trading shit around, and it's much less of a hassle to do it that way. So yeah, got a bunch of people obsessed with the same thing. I mean, you, they'll be willing to mess with you. Yeah. And some of them are just nice, just nice, yeah. help each other out. All right. So that's yeah, probably the best place to go nowadays is Facebook group or similar, something kind of an online forum place, you know, that deals in them exclusively whatever game or games you're looking for. Yeah, the dead collectible card game group as a whole. Uh, I don't know if there's any other equivalent to that anywhere. There may be some Reddit shit. There may be some other things, but that's uh, I think that's the biggest and most active. Probably, I'd say yeah. Certainly, where I hang out at the most. Yeah. I haven't done a whole lot of here's my wish list, but I'm I'm gonna do more of that. Cause I'm gonna have to if I want to try to finish some of these sets. Yeah, and that's that's where I'm in on several sets now. Is I just I need four cards for one, I need five for another, and then you know, like the hockey, I just I just need a lead on a bunch of just something to start with. I don't even have a starting point on that yet because you can't find any of it. My name on the dead uh, CCG group is Richard Dex. Richard like. Dex. Dick Dex. Dick Dex. Yep, yeah, it's a good name. I like it. Uh, fuck. What else you got to say about that? I don't know. Do we have more to say? Ah, I just, I, I just got annoyed when I was trying to. I was like, oh yeah, I'll be able to finish this set out today. No. Yeah, I've hit that sensation a bunch of times. Yeah. Uh, I have way more sets that are slightly incomplete than I do completed. I guess the other point to bring up is if you come, if you're looking for a set, so I'm looking at Dark Age. And I was looking through the solds on eBay, and somebody had recently sold a set. I think it went off on auction for 170 or something shipped. I think. If I knowing now, if I saw that, I'd buy that in an instant because I just cracked. I'm cracked four boxes now trying to build a set, and I'm still 11 cards short, something like that. Yeah, they're about what 150 piece boxes now. Yeah, that's where they're going for now. Yeah, yeah, it's not my cost basis, but yeah, yeah, yeah. now. So yeah, if you're trying to build from this point. I mean, that's six hundred dollars. Yeah, and still don't have it. Yeah, six hundred to be real close, or one hundred fifty to buy that right shit. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, in the future, I, I like building sets, but some of these I may just jump on if I see a complete set for cheap. Yeah, if I love the game, I just want to own a set. I don't care how I got there, really. Yeah, I'd be willing to do that. Oh, yeah, it's just so cost prohibitive now to try to build a lot of it yourself, which is kind of what we're talking about. So yeah. If you can, you know, I guess on the, the flip side, cracking boxes gives you, you know, trade tender, uh, you know, I, yeah, for other stuff play. maybe, you know. If you're willing to do the shit we're just saying nobody wants to do. Well, I'm taking more on the Facebook side stuff where uh, you know, you yeah, give you trade maybe. fodder for that kind of stuff. But I mean, still, I you know. I mean, that's how, that's how sets get built. People crack shit, so whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the, the stuff in your wheelhouse, yeah. Stuff yeah. in mine, no. Jindu's not trade fodder. It's cat fodder. <laughs> Well, if you got duplicate gold cards and silvers and stuff like that, yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. Uh, but that would, yeah. Anyway, that, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. Well, fuck. We done. Fuck. I sure. How yes, <laughs> yeah, we do that? Right. Good fucking. Uh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Buddy. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't hit the button.